Greg, thank you so much for joining us. We'll start with a question from Jonathan Sigal. Jonathan, go ahead. Hey, Greg, I'm sure you can anticipate me asking about this. Um, Jonathan's start uh, in that he was stellar tonight. Um, can you take us into that decision, what you saw from him, uh, just kind of the confidence I'm sure that injects in a player who's uh, seemed like he has something to prove? Yeah, it's we're you know, we're midway through the season and three games in six days, you know, he's looked sharp in, in training. Uh, you know, normally in a in a normal season, you have cup games, you have different things that you want to keep everybody and specifically your second goalkeeper at the time and uh, ready and, and all that kind of stuff. And and um, we don't have those this year. So he's been working hard and doing everything that we ask. And, you know, Bondi's had the 17 games or 18, wherever we are now uh, prior. And this was just it was an opportunity to give this kid who's working hard every day and an opportunity to go out and. Uh, and perform and he did and we need to you know we need to make sure everybody's ready down the stretch you never know uh, what who's going to be called upon in the moment when you got to win a game and uh, you get to the playoffs and all that kind of stuff and for sure he he proved today that he's ready for uh, whatever role we give him and uh, he was he was outstanding made some incredibly athletic saves through the course of the game and um, and I thought it was, you know, he did a good job. We don't come away with, uh, with uh, those points without the, the performance that he, he had. And, you know, we've said that of both Jonathan's over the course of this season. So tonight it was his turn to, to step in and, and show us that. So uh, incredibly proud of him because he's, as I said before, he's remained focused and, and working hard. And uh, he's a confident young man. He's sure of himself. And he got in there and he showed that, that um, he has good reason to be. Thanks, Jonathan. We'll go with Larry Morgan next. Larry, go ahead. Hi, Greg. Thanks for speaking with us. Congratulations on the win. Um, you know, speaking of wins, uh, where does this win rank among the best victories the team has had this this season? Is this perhaps the most impressive one? Yeah, I mean, possibly. It's how every win's important, and and every win is super valuable. Uh, this is just it's another one. This is a difficult place to play. Again, we're. You know, we're missing a few guys that we'd love to to have and be be a part of our group at the moment. Um, but guys, guys stepped up and fulfilled the roles. Nico, who's barely been with us long enough to uh, to have dinner with us, was stepped in and was, I thought, outstanding on the left side and showed that he was really comfortable in the group and the quality he brings, which, you know, which also will really help this team in terms of um, our quality and our depth. Um, Dayon got in, he gets an assist, I think, in his first appearance, which helped us to, you know, helps us. Uh, he's going to continue to learn and get better and continue to, to get into the team. So, again, I just I said all along that the, the additions that we've made over the course of this year and the group we keep putting together just keeps getting deeper and deeper, uh, which is important in, in a long MLS season that has so many twists and turns and and national team call-ups and all the things that, that come with it, um, that we're, we're proving that we, we have a team that can compete for the long haul, not just for little bits and pieces of, of the season. So this is one of those that just shows you that our depth is capable of coming uh, to some of the most difficult places in the league and, and finding ways to, to win games. And uh, obviously we brought Jonathan and Victor uh, off the bench. So we were able to minimize their exposure and their minutes as we as we go to our home games coming in front of us and they came in and brought some composure there for a bit where we were able to just hold the ball and uh, and do some things in the second half. Um, but ultimately again it's we've said this all during the year on the road and these tough ones are about character they're about fight down the end it's about making plays uh, and the guys withstood a you know an onslaught there at the end and uh, and held on to the win so proud of them for that and we we also uh, just without saying, we, this was also a big one for for our group, for Seba, right? A guy that we miss uh, dearly, and you know, this was for him. It's what we talked about before the game: was put your heart and soul out there and give this guy, uh, who is a, one of our brothers and one of our family members, something to be proud of today, and something that can maybe just help him for if just a small period of time uh, separate from the sadness that he is he's endured over the last uh, you know several days. So uh, this was for him. Thanks for your time. Yep. Thanks, Larry. We'll go with Josh Gessman next. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Greg. Thanks for, for talking to us. Um, you know, last time we talked about not being ready to take over first place. I know that maybe this is a temporary uh, move atop the Western Conference as SKC still has to uh, play tonight. Um, but do you feel like there's already been some growth 
Um, do you feel like maybe there was more intelligence with this win and, and maybe some of the other ways and, and maybe the, you came out in the second half a little better than maybe you have in, in recent second halves? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we did what we had to do tonight to get the points to give us that opportunity to get into first place. I thought our resiliency down the end, our protecting the lead, uh, we had some better moments of uh, where we were play, maybe made some smarter decisions in moments through the course of the half. Um, you know, having said that, I still think there's a lot of growth for us in that space. If if we're going to uh, continue to stay on top and be, you know, a perennial a team that can every week be up on the top, we've got a we've got some progress to make. And so, um, but we did what we needed to do on the day, and that's that's with just mentality, character, fight, and and some good decisions and and making some plays down the stretch. And uh, that was enough to to put us up in there. I think. You know, um, what's good is for the guys to to see that they're there uh, and we're right on the we're right on the heels of whether it's us at the end of the weekend or it's somebody else. We're, we're right in the mix and we have every opportunity to keep pushing uh, on this this pathway for the rest of the season. Greg, Greg, talk a little bit about uh, Kevin Cabral's goal and just how that sort of built up. Uh, it, it seemed like it was it was probably pretty well executed. I, I would imagine you're happy with. It. Yeah, again, uh, you know, to be fair to Kevin, you, you know, he, he's one of the, he's a guy who gets chances. He gets chances every single game. He gets himself in front of the goal. His, he's clever about his runs and timing. He sees space. He gets through the spaces. Uh, and in this particular situation, one of the things we talked about going into the game was trying to transition to play forward and to, to get Kevin and Sam playing off of Dayon and, and with Ephra's passing ability underneath is to combine those guys together and get Sam and, and uh, Kevin running through the lines, use, you know, getting through those spaces that center backs might pop out of. And, you know, it, it happened in the moment, timing of Kevin's run, Dayon slipping him through. I thought one of the things that Kevin really – did better on this particular the situation that I think he's grown with over the course of the season is he put the ball in a place where he could protect it from the defender as he was, as he was carrying it into the box and trying to finish it. He, he kind of hid the ball. He used his body. He's getting a little stronger. I know we don't see it overnight, but he's getting stronger. He's committed to all of that work. And today on that run, he hid the ball where, where the defender couldn't make a play on it. And he was able to get enough wood on it to, uh, to find the net. So again, that's, it's a little bit of speed. It's a little bit of cleverness about where the ball was, but there was a little bit of strength in there, which is something that we're really trying to work with him as well. So really well taken, not easy. Um, and, and an important goal, obviously. Perfect. Safe travels. Thanks, Greg. All right. Thank you. Greg, that's all the questions we have for you today. Thank you so much. for everyone. Hey, hey, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Give us a second while we fix the camera. Yeah. And we'll start with the first question with Josh Gassman. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Jonathan, congratulations on the win. Um, Greg talked about your performance in goal, uh, how you're a very confident person, but I'm sure that uh, whenever you're a backup goalkeeper, it's one of the toughest positions to play. Uh, there's only one goalkeeper who can play. So what does it mean to get a chance in this situation and to put that performance out? Um, I mean, it means, it means everything. You know, I've been waiting... Uh, I think like 17 games now for for just you know a game and i know it's not going to be easy bondy's been doing great um and we've been pushing each other every training session so uh he's made me a better goalkeeper i've made him hopefully a better goalkeeper um and for me it was just waiting you know for this chance and uh and taking it um so i'm happy i'm happy i could help the team win i mean it's it's all you can really ask for is to get those three points away from home and then be able to come home and, and start this tough week now um, you know, where we did, you know, rest some players and, and be able to attack the next game on, on Wednesday. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it was a good game. It was a fun game. It was, it was nice to be out there. Uh, uh, yeah. So. I, I mean, you talked about it a little bit. Getting three points is obviously important. And uh, you guys moved to first, even though maybe momentarily uh, SKC still plays a little bit later here. Um, what does being at first place, even if it's, you know, a snapshot in time right now, what does that mean to this team um, that's, that's been working hard towards climbing that ladder? Uh, it means, uh, again, it means a lot. I mean, we, I think we are a very confident group and we set our, uh, our, our sights pretty high. You know, our goals are pretty high. Um, and to be able to say, hey, you know, even if it is, like you said, momentary, momentarily, it's a huge boost of confidence for us. 
um, because we know we can we can stay there. We know we can be there. We know we can compete with any team in the MLS. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's a huge boost of confidence uh, going into the week as well as in the second half of the season. Um, so I think we'll take this and, and run and, and see how far we can go with it. So perfect. Congratulations on the win. Safe travels. Appreciate it. Thanks, Josh. We will go with Jonathan Sigal with MLS Soccer. Jonathan, go ahead. Uh, Jonathan, the Jonathan here. Um, what has it been like for you since you've come back uh, stateside, being here at the Galaxy and MLS? I mean, these, these chances for you haven't come often, um, but tonight was obviously a statement of sorts for, for you of a guy that domestically people tracked overseas and then he returns back home. Um, what is this, I don't know, the exact timeline, but year, give or take, been like for you? Um, I, like I said before, um, Bondi came in and he started playing well. Um, and for me, it was just more motivation to, to keep training um, because the goalkeeper is a difficult, difficult position. You can't get subbed out randomly in the 72nd minute and then get, you know, a little bit of, of time. So it's just working hard and, and, and staying confident. And um, uh, I mean, since I got back, uh, it's, it's been, it's been pretty nice. Um, just being able to, to not have to focus on anything off the field. You know, you kind of have all those things. Uh, you're at home, you know, you have your family, you have your friends, which I didn't have for, for three years in Europe and which was always tough for me. So I felt like this was the best situation for me to, to advance as, a, as an athlete. Um, and so coming back, I've definitely improved. I've had two great goalkeeper coaches uh, since I've been here, learned so much from each of them. Um, and just, just keep training and, and, and keep, you know, keep going. So that's, that's all I can really say. And just one more quick for me would be, we've seen sometimes for backup goalkeepers in MLS, it's hard to come in and be sharp right away. There's maybe a few nervy moments at first, um, but you of course make that early save. You didn't really show any of that. What was that moment for you? Like, I imagine that's kind of like, okay, I, I, I kind of feel comfortable right now. Yeah, there was definitely some nerves. I mean, like I said, uh, it's I think it's the 18th game or something like that, or in the second part of the season. Um, and it could could have came at any any point in in the season. It could have been the second game, third game. You never really know. And so for it to be to be now, you just had to be ready. Um, and that save, like you said, in the in the first couple of minutes, really really helped me. Um, so it was it was it was nice to have. I was pretty pumped after that save, uh, and uh, it gave me the confidence I needed to go forward. We'll go with Katia Castorena with ESPN next. Go ahead, Katia. Thanks, Vicky. Hi, Jonathan. You mentioned it at first about how um, you've improved things to Bondi and that you've kind of helped each other out. So if you can like talk a little bit more about that and what it's meant for you having him in the team and how he has helped you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always good to have competition. Um, and especially when you're when you're the second um, right now, it's it's, you know, climbing to the first. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, we, we push each other in training all the time. Um, and I think we've been beneficial for, for each other, uh, as well as, as Hardy and, um, and the other keepers in, in the group, I think we've all improved. We all keep improving. Um, and obviously my goal is to, to not be on the bench anymore. Um, so I, I hope I did as much as I could today. Um, and just to, to keep going forward and hopefully take that starting, starting spot, hopefully. Thank you. Well, one, one last question with Larry Morgan. Larry, go ahead. Hi, Jonathan. Thanks for taking our, our questions. I have a two-part question. One, the obvious one is, when did you get word that you would start this game and were you surprised when you did get word? Did you have a feeling it might happen? And two, how, how satisfying is it for the defense to get a clean sheet, especially at a difficult place to play like this? Um, I got it a couple of days ago uh, that I was um, training with the, with the first squad uh, in training. Uh, I actually didn't really tell anyone that no one knew that I was playing today. Uh, I didn't want any uh, uh, congratulations texts before the game. So no one, I still haven't talked to anyone. So my dad's probably pissed. Um, and uh, yeah, I just kind of took it and, and kind of had tunnel visions. Like I got to play well, I got to play well. Um, and yeah, I, you know, um, I think I had a good game and uh, we'll move forward. And what was the second, the second part of the question? How satisfying was it for the defense, spearheaded by you, of course, to get this clean sheet in a difficult place to play like Allianz Field? 
I mean, first that the stadium is, is, is awesome. I really enjoyed playing here. Um, and for us to get, like you said, a shutout here is, is, is even more satisfying. Um, you know, I don't think we've, I don't know. I think we've gotten a couple of shutouts a season, but every single one gives us like more and more confidence to, to keep moving forward, gives more and more confidence to the defense, whoever's playing, um, because we know that we can, we can get those shutouts and we know that our forwards are going to do their jobs and our midfielders as well. Um, as we're, we're, a, we're a damn good team and we can go far. So everything we can do, whether it be shutouts, whether it be scoring as many goals as possible, um, it's 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 a it's a step in the right path, step in the right direction, and just to just to keep going, keep getting more, keep getting more wins, and then uh, yeah, see how far we can go. Thanks for your time. Well done. Of course, thank you. Jonathan, thank you so much for your time. Of course. Mm -hmm.